Hello, this is Hurley USA, and I'm continuing my King of Ruthenia playthrough. Uh, looks like uh, right now I'm dealing with some factions in the Kingdom of Ruthenia. I've got uh, one faction led by Grand Prince Vladimir II of Volnia, which is pretty strong. I think it was about 128% of my current strength. So that's something to keep an eye on here. So probably for the next couple of years, my main focus will be on uh, trying to make sure that I don't get uh, taken over by this guy. So it looks like uh, Grand Prince Voldemir II of Ruthenia. Uh, I can try to revoke his one county title. So I think uh, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna try to do that. So just by myself, I have 40 percent. And I can invite this uh, Vladimir here, and he'll uh, get me up to 60%. And then I would need 20% more to reach the minimum of 80% so that I could set that plot in motion. So let's see, looks like, uh, I mean, ideally this guy here, he's got, he could uh, add 30%. And he's not interested, uh, he has political concerns, he's, uh, uh, for whatever reason, he's not interested. Um, which is a bummer, because he'd be perfect. Looks like uh, that guy's definitely joined, so that's good. So we've got one guy who's ready to uh, hang out with us and join our plot and help us... Uh, get some stability in the realm. Looks like I just got a notification that a child needs to be educated. Always very important to make sure your children get educated so that they can uh, one day rule the realm and do a good job. So I'm going to try to uh, assign this guy that I want to join my plot to educate a child. Uh, I'm hoping that this will make him uh, like me better and thus uh, more likely to join my plotting ways. Looks like uh, looks like he's like the second highest ranking guy in the in the realm. That's a little disturbing that he doesn't like his king, and he's the kind of the top dog. It looks like in the realm besides me, of course, since I'm king and he's high chief. So I guess he's tribal. So that's probably part of the problem right there. I need to get him converted to be a vassal, a feudal vassal, and not a tribal vassal. And then uh, we'd have the same government type, and he'd probably like me slightly better. And then uh, I'm looking at Grand Prince Gleb. I want to see if he'll maybe join my plot. It looks like uh, he's kind of scared of Vladimir. He has a good opinion of the other guy. He has a decent opinion of me, but... Doesn't look like he's too interested, unfortunately. And then we've got, because uh, I'm looking at another high chief, looking at this guy here. He's got the same general problems as everybody else. Pretty much everyone's scared of the guy that I'm trying to uh, revoke his plot, or revoke his county. <laughs> So, that's going to make things difficult, I think. I guess he has a reputation of being a pretty good guy, or a pretty tough guy. He's got the rest of them scared. Looks like I'm trying to see if there's any other options. I think I'm looking over my uh, counselors to make sure that they're all busy at work, which it looks like right now my marshal is uh, kind of standing around doing nothing. And actually, I think my marshal is the guy that's planning, thinking about revolting, so that's ideal. I mean, not really ideal, if you didn't catch my sarcasm. I don't think it was too obvious, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt there. Looks like I'm still trying to figure out how to increase my plot power. Looks like I uh, really don't have any great ideas right now. I'm looking over all my counselors to see if they're willing to join my plot. 
It's like uh, this guy's not. That's a bummer. This lady's not. And this guy's not, so that was useless. Um, anyway, moving on. So let's see, we still got the Dangerous Faction. We're still trying to revoke some of his power, or really all of his power. And we've got, actually got like three threats going on right now. We've got a bunch of people that want to take over Ruthenia from me. We got one guy at 108%, one guy at 50%, and one guy at like 60%. So this, uh, it's a good thing they didn't all team up against me. Because that would have definitely been bad. Looks like I just bribed the guy who's in the main plot. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe he'll decide that he doesn't want to plot against me anymore if he likes me better. Always a nice way to try to go about it, right? And, uh, looks like this guy here. Not sure why I'm checking him out. It's not obvious. I played this a while ago and I'm adding the commentary later, so it's a little hard to remember exactly what I was thinking when I did certain things. Uh, some of them seem rather odd. Looks like uh, Princess Velasava of Georgia is no longer guardian of one of my children for some reason. Looks like uh, maybe that's because she just became queen. I'm not sure. So it looks like I need someone else to educate this guy here, so that's taken care of. And we still have the dangerous factions, so we need to be careful. Careful, careful, careful. We don't want to we don't want to uh, do too much warring right now because if we do, we might lose some troops, which will make them even stronger. It looks like uh Kind of looking over kind of the surrounding area, the uh, diplomacy map. You can see uh, the green is my domain, the blue are my direct vassals, and I guess the yellow I think might be allies, although that doesn't seem right, so I'll have to try to remember the next time I play to make a better mental note of what the colors on this map mean. It's like, uh, definitely still working on the plot. It's definitely not going too well. Looks like uh, Princess Proxtia, uh, she became a detached priest, which is uh, not a very good uh, education, it looks like. But, uh, oh well, we'll see who she can marry. Looks like she's got a couple of kings that she's allowed to marry. Louis, King of France, and uh, I think it's Sank, King of Aragon. And then uh, I can kind of scroll around, see if there's anyone better. Which I don't know how we could do better than her being married to a king. Because, I mean, uh, having another king as an ally is definitely a bonus. It's like I'm trying to figure out where this Aragon is to find out if it would be useful to have as an ally. And, uh... <laughs> Looks like this King Louis of France is actually my nephew, so we're related. That's kind of interesting. And he has a... Quite a few... Is that troops? Yeah, 1,400 troops. Wow. 99 gold, 1,300 prestige, 173 piety. His domain is 3 out of 3. That's not too bad. Looks like he's, uh, is he a king twice? Is he the king of France and something else? I should have looked at those more closely. That's interesting. And looks like I'm now back to uh, kind of glancing at my counselors to see what they're doing. Checking out the, uh, the map here. We got pretty big France there. Duke of Burgundy. Because he's uh, under Louis in France there. And then we've got uh, Kaiser Luthbert of the Holy Roman Empire. That's quite the place there. And then we've got King Henry. There's 19,000 troops. That's pretty good for England. You can see Hungary is in the midst of a pretty big revolt, it looks like. Which is probably good for me. That just means uh, they're destabilized down below me and they won't be looking to expand. You can see the kingdom of Ruthenia, my kingdom. You can see the kingdom of the Rus right next door. 
also uh, kind of a Rurikid dynasty kingdom. You can see I've received a call of arms to join this uh, this war. One of my Rurikid family members against Lithuania. So I uh, I'm gonna offer my help. But I probably I don't I will not send any troops because I have too many factions going on. I'm too scared to lose any troops. I can't lose any troops. Looks like this war is over Latgale, which is the must be that county there highlighted in the flashing lines. I bet you that happened usually in the real life. They would like you know set fires around the area and then uh, everyone would know that that was the county that was uh, in the war zone. Uh, looks like the King of the Rus has also been called into this war from the looks of things. He's uh, called up his troops. Looks like uh, I had some trouble uh, trying to get some pe peasants to uh, pay their taxes, so they're all angry now. That's always good. And there's uh, me in my home place. Looks like I've got a somewhat higher revolt risk because of me trying to collect taxes. Uh, there's always something going on in Crusader Kings, although sometimes things are a little slow to develop, like uh, this faction that's trying to take over, and then me trying to uh, figure out how to weaken the faction. So right now I'm trying to look over my vassals to figure out who's providing troops and who's not. You can see I have a bunch of guys that are in red, meaning that they're not providing troops if I ask for them. It's like... Uh, you know, mostly because they don't like me, so I need to get those guys to like me so that they'll provide me with their troops. Because that would be uh, helpful if uh, the guys that aren't involved in the revolt decide that they could uh, send me some troops to help fight the guy who is revolting. Or they could help me fight in external wars, of course, as well. So it's important that I get these guys above zero. Right now... So this is the High Chief Stanislav the Just, he doesn't like me, wrong government type, other reasons, short reign, yeah, because I just uh, took over from my father. So hopefully that one will go away kind of soon, and some of these guys will start to like me a little bit more as I prove that I'm a capable king who can live a long time, because uh, I guess that's important. Then we got... Uh, Quite a few guys down here. We got Ilya Rurikid, it's negative seven. We got uh, Yuri Rurikid, negative 34. Looks like Stanislav of Potalovla, negative 24. So we gotta get all these guys on our side. Looks like. Uh, Definitely still working on trying to uh, take over the, or <laughs> revoke the county of Gallic from this uh, this vassal who's trying to uh, revolt against me. I'm looking every which way to find some options to uh, help me out in this, but so far, uh, so far I have, I have no uh, way to get anyone to join, and I don't have enough plot power without getting anyone else to join. Uh, looks like I can do a technology upgrade. Looks like I can uh, I can upgrade one of my culture advances. I can do a noble custom, popular custom, religious custom, majesty. I think I'm thinking about doing a noble custom because uh, it gives a little more feudal vassal opinion, which means that all my vassals that are feudal will like me a little bit more, which I think is helpful, except uh, I think quite a few of my vassals are actually not feudal, so that's probably partially a problem. And it uh, looks like right now I'm kind of looking around to see uh, who is the high technology centers around. Looks like uh, someone, Grand Prince Gleb, is trying to fabricate a claim on Grand on the Grand Principality of Gallic. So I have a righteous imprisonment option if I wanted to exercise that. Unfortunately, it's not for the guy that I would really like it to be against. So if it was the guy that was in the faction, then I could, uh, you know, I could uh, imprison him. He might revolt, but since he's acting dishonorably, hopefully no one would join him. 
and then uh, hopefully I could revoke his title, and then uh, I would have a more stable realm, but no such luck, just Grand Prince Gleb. So he's decided to accept my wise idea that he not plot in my realm. I'm not a big plotter. Uh, something I probably should work on, because I was actually watching uh, NG Paradox play the other day, and he was doing all kinds of plotting, and it was pretty amazing. He basically went from being like a count to almost like a king, and just like a couple of... Uh, couple of deaths that he orchestrated himself, so it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, looks like I'm looking over who my heirs are. Looks like it's, uh, my son, and then, uh, some other duke, and another duke, probably both in my realm. So, uh, I'm kind of thinking that this might be a good place to, uh, call it, a call it, a, an end to the, the video for now. Looks like that one war just ended, so we're going to stop here.